Hello everyone, I've got another unboxing video for you and this is a pretty new or I've not seen these before so I'm assuming they're pretty new, they've popped up on AliExpress uh, it's called the Super VIB 169 in 1 yeah, which if we see on the box here it's got 139 in 1 and 30 VIB which if you're wondering what that is, it's Vibration Games Super Vibration, built in 169 classic games, 30 Super Vibration games, digital multi-platform device, play on TV, players can play everywhere. And here we see we've got the console, AV cable, DC cable, user's manual and a joystick, two joysticks in here. Uh, now this, it's got the tick there, so this should be the red and white version, which is what I ordered, and I haven't even opened this yet bit of damage on the box there but it has come from Japan and to be honest the box seems sturdy so the content should be fine but yeah oh just before I get into that just for comparison that box is smaller in diameter than a CD and it's just a bit smaller in height so you can sort of get a grasp of how small this thing is. If we take the lid off, oh wow. <laughs> That's pretty mad. Nicely uh, compact. Man, that's crazy. Okay, so on the back we've got our mini USB power socket and our TV out, which this is only um, composite. And the reason why I ordered this one is because of the strange thing here of that. It takes USB-C type control pads, which I've never seen any like that before. So that's what intrigued me is to think, hmm, I wonder what else is different on the inside of this. And I can tell by looking in there that there's two separate boards. So we'll be taking this apart shortly, but we'll have a look at the rest of the box first. Oh, we got one of our pads here. They're pretty funky. Quite small though, but they fit in your hand quite well. And these have got six buttons. Now obviously this is a Famiclone. Well, I'm assuming it is. Uh, so we'll only need two. So I'm assuming two will be turbo and the other two will be used for the vibration games maybe. But there we have the USB-C socket. Yeah, I mean, the pads feel quite nice. Feel quite well made. And then we have a USB power socket, power cable, should I say, and a composite TV lead. And then we have a manual. The Super VIB TV, which is all in Japanese, but it's not as if I'm going to need it. I've just got to plug a wire in, or two. So yeah, um, so far I'm in quite happy uh, with what I've got. It'd be nice to test it out, but, uh, let's open it up. And uh, see what this bad boy's made of. Well, all we had to do to get it open up was to remove the, the little rubber feet, just four screws, and it just comes apart simply. And inside, you'll see, there's actually a really nicely made board. Uh, and if you'll see, yeah, it says there, Retro TV Game Version 1.1, 2019, 611. Uh, now in Britain we put the day first, but our um, month first. Oh, hang on, no, <laughs> I'm confusing myself now. Twenty six. Oh yeah, we put the date first and the month. Uh, in America, you guys put the month first, don't you? Um, so I'm. Oh, I was gonna say this would be following American format with a month first, but I don't know. I'm not sure whether that would be the the day first. Uh, if I got any people from China. Um, I think this is where this is made, China, uh, that know how your date system works, please let me know, uh, because I think, due to the fact that I've never seen these until the past couple of weeks, then I think that the 6th of uh, November 
would probably be the manufacturer date of this. But anyway, um, we've got our board here for the power buttons, connected by ribbon cable. And then if you can see under there, I'm not going to bother taking that board out, but if you can see under there, you'll see that this board is just one board and then it's cut out for the buttons, which is quite nicely done. Uh, as usual, not a lot to show. We've got our crystal out down here. Uh, nasty glob top with everything that's being processed under there. We've got our flash chip here, uh, which does happen to have test points for every pin that's used so we'll do some experimentation with those and see what else we can do with it maybe add some more different flash chips or possibly try and get a cartridge slot added we've got our power here and our TV out but yeah um, what I have noticed because I did test it just before I took it apart just to make sure it worked um, what I noticed is controller port 1 and 2 are actually wired around the wrong way um, there's no way to solve that other than turning the board round but then obviously it won't fit in the shell uh, so that's just like a manufacturer's issue there but it's not really a problem that the unit works um, but at first I thought oh man it's broke but then I thought hang on let's switch it round and see what happens but yeah um, all in all quite, quite a nice looking little board and a, a nice little compact thing so it'd be nice to see what else comes from this company which I can't remember the name but I'll get it written on the screen now but it'd be nice to see what else they come up with in the future but yeah let's uh, put it back together and then let's show some gameplay footage and see what's on it before we take a look at the actual gameplay I thought oh why not take apart the uh, control pad considering it's got the rumble feature so I thought we'd have a look at that and again just for screws um, that looks like our rumble feature there just a plain back of the board lift that over yep a pretty simple board and then some more glob topping as our wires going off and then uh, oh Ah, here we go. Looking at the board has solved our if that'll focus. Looking at the board has solved our date issue. As you can see from there, it is the month first and the day second. So it was the console was made on the eleventh of June, is it? And this was made on the fifteenth of April. So the machine has been around for quite a few months, but I'd not seen them before. Let me know if you'd seen them previously in the comments down below. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it really. A little rumble feature there, that's quite tiny. You can see the, the thickness of it there is not a lot. Well, that would just be a weight in there spinning round off centre. Uh, that will give a sort of rumble effect. That's pretty much how all rumbles work. If you take apart actually a PS2 rumble pack, um, well, controller, uh, it's open, it's not enclosed, and you'll see there's like a half semicircle of a weight. And it just spins, basically. It gives off the effect that it's a rumble. So, yeah. Right, I'll get this back together, and we'll get the gameplay on the screen. Right, so the console itself is uh, split into two separate menus and the first menu being 13 one which is uh, the vibration games. Now originally I was expecting this to be some completely specific mad games for the system that utilised vibration function like you're getting in a lot of the um, other uh, wireless uh, family clones out there which usually have like 32 bit games built in which are like bowling or something like that but what you actually get here is a bunch of Famicom games uh, that have been adapted somehow to work with a vibration function like if you die or get hit by an enemy or something there would be some something that makes the uh, pad vibrate which is pretty cool but not really you know anything that's going to make the gaming better or anything like that 
The only difference on this is that the games are all Famicom games, apart from this one, the first, uh, sorry, apart from the first game, which is called uh, Superboy, which is actually a, a Mario ROM hack, which is kind of weird how every time you, you play the game it seems to start you off in a different level. Uh, but yeah, that's worth checking out. Right now, the second menu is a 139 in 1, and this compromises of various NES and Famicom games, as well as a, a ton of ROM hacks as well. Now, the ROM hacks on here, 95% uh, of them, I've never actually seen them before, so I'm not sure if uh, they seem to, most of them seem to come from Touch Game Player. So I'm not sure if they're still producing new ROM hacks today to keep these systems up to date uh, or as up to date as they can be. But yeah, I mean, I've got tons of these uh, Famiclone systems and they've always got like a hundred and odd games built in. And usually you get a lot of them which are like, oh man, this is the same as off one of the other ones. But on here, it is, you know, there's probably two or three games that I've got on actual other Famiclones. So the games list on here, is quite quite nice actually if you're into these uh, sort of things you, you'll be quite impressed with how different they are and there is also uh, a bunch of original uh, Famicom and NES games on here as well like Adam's Family, Alien 3, uh, there's Jungle Book on here and things like that as well so some nice uh, games to have on here as standard games there's some interesting clones which I'll be uh, doing full playthroughs of and um, yeah, there's a. It's just a shame that this doesn't have a cartridge slot on it because it would be a system because of the games list. It would be a system that I would also like to just keep plugged in and play my cartridges on as well. But um, sadly, because there's no cart slot, I'm most likely to just play it for a, a few months and then put it away in a cupboard and uh, do some gameplay of the games that I like the best. But yeah, for the price, it is. It's a, a really damn good system. So I'll get a, a link in the description down below so you can check them out. And uh, I believe at the start of the video I said they were from AliExpress, but I actually did find them on eBay for cheaper, which is actually where I brought it from. But it still basically came from the same place. It took about 20 days to arrive. But yeah, I think I paid about £15 for it, which is a bargain, really, compared to uh, all the ones out there. And it's tiny and it's... Seems quite nicely made as well. I'm uh, kind of running out of things to say now, so um, if you see any of the games on the menu that you wouldn't mind seeing gameplay of or full playthrough of, then just let me know in the comments section down below or come and join me over on Twitter at RetroDetect. I've also just opened up a Facebook page as well, so you can uh, come and join me on there at RetroDetect as well. Might not always be so active on there, but I will reply whenever I can. But yeah, if you'd like to see anything or um, a full playthrough or some gameplay, then just let me know and I'll get that sorted for you. But thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next teardown video, which we've got a few more coming up shortly, a few more handhelds. Uh, so yeah, uh, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications and please like the video and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much. Take care. Toodle.